Hey guys, Dan here. I just wanted to go over the new firmware for the microstrobes. So this is firmware 4.1 and it actually includes some pretty cool features which make the usability of the product a little better and add some fun features at the same time. So firstly, I'll go over the pairing procedure because that has changed ever so slightly. So this is a master strobe and you can tell by the dip switches here. The dip switch closest to the USB port is in the down position, which is the on position. So switch one means it's now in master mode. Um, these two are in slave mode. So I'm going to start the pairing procedure. So firstly, we would take the master strobe, power it on, hold the pairing button, and then you see that flashing. That indicates that we've generated a unique key for this master. And that way, if you are flying with friends, nobody else is going to have the same key as you and you won't be controlling each other's strobes, in other words. So the process for the master strobe hasn't changed at all. But the slave strobes are actually a tad easier than they used to be in the past. So to pair this, all I would do is power it on, hold the pairing button, and you can see it's paired. In the past, you used to have to cycle the power and that's no longer a thing. So I'm gonna repeat the same process with this strobe. Power on, hold the pairing button, wait for it to pair. No cycling of power required, and there we go. They're paired, they're pretty bright. The next two features that we added, which are pretty cool, are these next two dip switches. Dip switch two and three only take effect on the master strobe. So if you have this strobe set to a slave, don't bother messing with dip switches two and three. It only has an effect on the master strobe. So firstly, I'm going to take dip switch two and turn it on. Now we have what we call PWM mode. So the lights stay on the entire time. And as you may notice, that got transferred to the slave strobes, so they automatically sync up. I could turn it back off, and they go back to normal mode. Switch three is double flash mode. This is the same sequence that's used in many aircrafts, including the A320 on the wingtips, so you can put this in double flash mode. You can also turn PWM mode on, so now you have double flash and PWM, which is pretty cool. I think the double flash is a nice feature. It just adds to the visibility when you're flying. And then also the PWM mode does the same thing. So with these two modes combined, you have maximal visibility, which is an awesome thing, great for safety. Another feature that we added to firmware 4.1 is that if there is an interruption of communication, wireless communication between these strobes, these strobes will make up the difference and they'll resync automatically whenever this one decides to come back online. So there you see it synced back up. So the idea is if you miss a couple flash instructions that are sent wirelessly, you'll never notice because these strobes will make up the difference and resync automatically and it will be completely seamless. So now all we have to do to shut this off is shut off the master strobe. And these will time out eventually. They'll leave PWM mode on momentarily. I believe the timeout is about 10 seconds. And there you go, now they're off. So. You can see that the LEDs are still blinking here. That's just to indicate that the strobe is still on. It is in fact using battery power to do this, but it's using much less than if it was actually running. It's in a sleep mode right now. The idea with sleep mode is that if you wanted to go flying before sunset and you didn't want to turn on all of your strobes yet, you could leave the master strobe off, turn the wingtip strobes on. Um, hope you guys enjoy the new features that are packed in firmware 4.1.